Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Arcade Tokens. I go by the name of Cleo Thomas, a.k.a. Mr. Slick Living. I'm Patrick Cloud. I am the Anomaly Will Farrow. This is the Arcade Tokens podcast where we talk about all things gaming, nerd, film, related. We, we talk about it all here, man, because we're multifaceted guys who are into all this kinds of stuff, man. First level off top, we're jumping right into it, man, for the Arcade Tokens podcast is the most random gaming accessories out there okay there are plenty guys have you have you guys looked into this list yet have you seen all this random stuff out there shout out to uh den of geek which is a great website we found this list on i did not have that many accessories my accessories were limited to like the the camera on the gamecube the, the stuff that you put in your 64 so that you could play certain games like yeah literally stuff like that memory cards i didn't have the glove i've never even seen one in person <laughs> Listen, I, I learned. I learned that they can return somehow, like the NES Power Glove. Like, yeah, right. This looks like something that could be out there right now, and everyone would cop it just because it'd be the cool, swaggy thing to have on you. Like, ah, uh, uh, it came back. It. These did come back. Cool. Um, really? At one point. Yeah, I think. I think that. But I think like for some, because there was an announcement about it, but I don't know if they ever came out. But it was like an announcement that the Power Glove was going to come back. Because, like, I remember there was, like, a YouTube where this dude, like, uh, I, I I don't know if it was, like, the official and fan-made or what, but it, like, created a buzz that they were trying to bring it back. But I don't know if they ever did. I think they could bring it back for Switch. Um, uh -huh. First of all, what was it? Did anybody have it? Here's the thing. Um, I didn't have any accessories, but what I learned at a young age was get you some white friends because they will have this stuff, they and they did. <laughs> did you have like a specific white friend that had all this stuff? Yep, shout out AJ, Terrell, Texas, man. You know what it is, bro. <laughs> Terrell Elementary, thank you for <laughs> opening up my world of gaming and other toys and things that you didn't play with because you had white privilege that I could just take home that you didn't care about. Oh, he, he had them and wasn't even into them. There was some like there's a few in here I've seen that he had that I know he didn't play with. I'm not gonna give give some of them away just yet because I want to just start where we're at. But he, one of these was actually the power glove. His older brother had the power glove. Okay, so, so then what? Tell me what it was. Because so I I, I I so for, I've seen some videos of some guy. If you if you guys don't know who the angry video game nerd is, the guy's been on YouTube for damn near the the start of YouTube. I've heard a, of him. ABGN. Uh, I've seen he does he does a lot a lot, a lot of reviews on stuff like this. So I've seen him play it, and technically it's pretty much the the game that they list on here. Super Glove Ball is pretty much the most popular game that they had. Super so, Glove Ball that sounds super, great. Exactly, Super Glove Ball. So you would pretty much catch the ball. If you put some infrared stuff on your screen on on the side of your TV and kind of grab the ball while it's coming at you with the glove. That's okay. kind of how that played it there. That sounds kind of fun. Yeah, that's probably the best game there is. All the other ones, it didn't it didn't transfer transfer over well. Like there was one that you could actually play with Mario Super Mario uh, Bros. The original. If you literally went up like on the glove, he would jump. Um, was it? I mean? Oh, it was motion like it this. Was more, it was more motion. like this, like Buzz Lightyear. It was it was motion. It was more motion than it was. That's uh, what I was gonna be. Yeah. yeah, it was actually more motion. I know that it has all those buttons on the side of it. It's actually more motion control than anything. Nah, that don't work with Super Mario. Like, <laughs> it's just crazy to think like this is the for the first Nintendo console, right? So already they were trying to figure out how to create a, 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 a I, I want to say an experiment or an environment for you that wasn't so handheld controller, just you right. and the TV. They Very wanted to bring you, bring it out of there and launch other different technologies to help that. Because you think now with the Nintendo Switch, how they have that um, that fitness thing where it's like a, a circle and you press on it and then you could actually put it around you and move it. Like that's a whole workout system that they built into the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, just from the that. Ring. The Switch it's ring. the ring, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Ring. Yep. So, so this crazy was, to think they, they put the, the blueprints and the footprints way back in the first Nintendo. Yeah, this was a, yeah, this was actually uh the, another thing they first did for the Wii. This was like kind of the first blueprint for the Wii. So like they had like Super Glove Ball as one of the games that you could use and stuff like that. Another one too that worked was uh, Duck Hunt. A lot of people didn't use it for that, but you could. So like you could move. That'd be tight if you were like like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, stuff. and so it was just like, those were the different things. So like when you're playing with Mario, you could control, like when he's flying and stuff, you could control him a little bit better while he's flying. 
it's something still, like it, this needs a game specific to it, like a Super Glove Ball. I, I yeah. feel like trying to make it work with Super Mario is is kind of yeah. weird. I mean, of course, they try to do it. They said it can be done. Obviously, it's a selling point, but you probably are not going to use it for that. No, I no. use one. Uh, no, I've never used never. it for this. I've never, I've never, I've seen it at a few stores and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. But I've never actually have put one on. No, it's yeah. one of those things that it's cool that it existed, but I feel like none of us would really enjoy it. <laughs> no, no, no. When, when when I uh my friend AJ had it, but it didn't work. Like it was, it was one of those things that was like, okay. you know, you, yeah, like you know, them kids that got like stuff in their garage, you know, throw away, but it's broken. And I just saw it. And I was like, oh, this shit is dope. Yeah, this is the power glove. But it, again, like it didn't work, and it ain't even Nintendo anymore. So it's just like, okay. But it was it was cool to look at, but it wasn't like y'all said it wasn't feasible to use for video games. Like if it had more game sword, like you said, Pat, probably would have been a lot better. So this was the video game Infinity Gauntlet. But yeah. what I'm trying to figure out in my own head is, wasn't there a cartoon that had the lead character using some type of uh, uh, glove, and it was video game inspired? I thought that yeah. was Will's movie, the the movie that you showed Wizard. us, right? The Wizard, Wizard. or something? Oh, you yeah, know, actually, it says it right there. You you've seen oh, yeah. the, the Wizard, Wizard a thousand times, right here. It's the Wizard. Yeah. That, was that. that was that thing. That was a is it a, is it a cartoon or is it a movie? It's a I movie. think it's, a, it's live action. Live action. Movie. Oh, there's a cartoon. He's talking. He's talking about the cartoon. I forgot who they partnered with to because they because it was a promotion cartoon. and they had a cartoon that they partnered with. Oh, oh but it was still wizard. Huh? It was still wizard. I don't think it was the wizard. I'm not sure, but I know what what uh, Cleo's talking about because it was a, it was like a promotional thing and they made a a, a a cartoon out of it. I don't know if it was a show or what, but I remember what he's talking about. Captain N? N? N, just Captain N. Can, can you pull up that really quick? Captain N? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, hold on, wait. I think this is what I remember. After, oh, the Game Masters, okay. And so it was Nintendo officially. Let me let me pull it up for you. Yo, my man got the blaster on him. Yo, this is crazy. Who is this guy? One, one yo, second. we got to watch one of these, bro. Hey, hey, look, no, Michael was lit. the Nintendo remote controller. This is what I remember. Hey, put this dude in Smash Bros. <laughs> back. Run him back. That'd be hard. That would like be it. great. I like That's it. That's what we need to campaign. So hey, he's dope though. Yo, Simon yeah. Belmont was one of the characters. Yep. Simon Belmont. This was a yeah. whole TV show. It was a TV show. Oh, Captain and Mega Man was in this. The Game yep. Master. Mega Man and Samus were in it. Yep. So, yo, Nintendo br like branched off and tried to create their own cartoon too. No, they did. If memory serves me correct, I think it was on ABC. It's Saturday mornings. If memory serves me correct. Yeah, let, me, let me go to put it on the screen. I'm about to put it on the screen right now for like, yo, I just like my man's fit. Like, yo, the red, the red varsity jacket. My man's belt was the Nintendo remote controller. He got the blaster on deck. The red That's blaster. crazy. Yeah. You look at him. We That's need that. hard, bro. I need that jacket, man. I need jacket that jacket. Jacket fire. Jacket is fire. Captain Talk N, the name is kind of trash. I like the Captain little green Jack. space guy, though. Yeah. Little space baby. Yeah. <laughs> the villain looks trash, though. I'm not even going to lie. I could see it being bad. <laughs> yeah, I could see it not going as great. But, hey, I do like the idea of him being put in Smash. Put him yeah. in Smash. He would like be classy. If it happens, it is once again proof that, guys, they mm -hmm. are listening. Oh, yeah, that would be crazy. That's oh, very yeah. meta. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, let's jump back up to the the first one in the, the list uh, based off of what Cleo was saying about how they've been trying these things for a long time. It's crazy, like, us growing up um, and seeing the sort of, like, the technology that really worked, we mm -hmm. think that that's, like, the first time. But they've been trying these things for decades, you know? Yeah. It's, it's wild to think that, like, this next one, it's kind of like a... Um, an early version of like all of the like Wii Fitness and like all these like sensor things where you don't need a controller at all. You're just kind of like moving around and using your body as a controller. I thought they started that with the Wii, but they've been doing that. Oh, uh, so which, which one are we talking about, Pat? Which one the you activator thing. Oh, the activator. Yeah, the first one. Oh, that's that's Sega a activator. Uh, Sega activator. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I got you right now. Uh, Captain N joins the battle. <laughs> Pat, this is what you want to see? <laughs> did somebody do that? Yeah, someone did it. Okay, so it's it's in the uh It's in the air. It's yeah. in the air. 
So yeah, this is dope because this is this is basically like the early uh, con connect and move. Uh, it says on the on the website, it says that there was a um, an octagonal grid that you would have to set up with infrared lights to detect movement in sixteen different areas. Yeah. And you were playing games like Mortal Kombat, and I guess the commercial had this dude with like doing all these martial arts, and then the the, the video game one did it. But uh, I guess they're saying that it was kind of hefty. It was eighty dollars, which at the time was pretty wild. And uh, I don't know. I, I guess they said that it was extremely temperamental. Uh, like you wave your hand, and a whole bunch of stuff would happen. So it just it ultimately just didn't work. Didn't work. Yeah, that's what it was. Like, cause cause the thing that made this kind of like dope. I remember seeing this like in the newspaper, and they said this was coming, but it never came. Um, during the time of like the Mortal Kombat that were out, they were using real people to do the moves and the fights in the game. And so that's what made it more easier for you to be able to participate with this mat because you could fight just like them. So if you look at the first two when they're doing the punches and stuff, those are real people. Those are real actors doing yep. the fights, doing the kicks, the sweeps and everything. And so that's what this was for. But just like how you, how you said, you plug that in to this very limited game and it's like yo it's not gonna read the same I'm gonna say, there's no way technology was uh, that good then to be able to pick up on someone's body motion right. with 16 lasers coming from the ground that's going to be able to track every person's body around no way there's no and way you're hooked up to the sega genesis which was not right. a powerful you know piece of hard work, hardware hardware no. And they said that, you know, it was based off of a, a musician's idea instead of a game developer's. Because I guess there was like some rock, uh, some rock dude that had a game, the uh, Asaph Gurner's Light Harp. I guess there was like a harp thing that that uh, was more music. But yeah, I guess they're saying that that's why it didn't work. But it's cool I that they were trying it. Just to try it. Like, no lie, I would love to try right. Like, we've come so far, we've all experienced great video games, but I would love to go back and try this exact thing piece right. of hardware out just to see you would know in the first two minutes if you would keep playing it <laughs> yeah you, you would know you in would. the first two to three minutes you would not <laughs> you would not you'll do one mortal combat fight and be like okay i'm done controller Jeez, man controllers no. are are underrated like it's it's still the best medium <laughs> to me <Fact. laughs> we've tried a lot of stuff but i mean if we want to go to the next one uh this is another medium that a bunch of people people would uh swear by the mouse the mouse I, never, I i was a pc gamer that's how i first got into gaming but i haven't been back <sighs> have you, did you guys have this i did not have this no. I, I heard it, i heard this was really big for uh super mario paint this, yep. that's what i heard i heard it was pretty big oh it said it right it said it right there and i actually knew that before like i just i heard it was really really big with the mario paint paint uh situation i've which, literally which never played have. mario paint I think we never touched that. it. Never like it. No, like you said, like and this is another reason controllers are undefeated. It literally says in the article, it says while the mouse was made uh, usable for a bunch of games, does anybody really want to be evading dinosaurs in Jurassic Park or destroying Cyborg and T2 with a mouse? Uh, nah, 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 so. I just uh, like the fact that it, that it matches the colorway. You know, that's pretty cool. Like I would have loved to see Super Nintendo going into some different colorways for that console. Like that gray with the purple switches was iconic for that time for sure. Mm -hmm. But it makes me curious on what other colorways could they have rolled out for that console knowing the fact Black. that they the mouse in the exact same way. I like that it fit the original Game Boy. I thought that was like- Yeah, you know? yeah, very true. Uh, what's another one we got? I think the PlayStation Link cable is up next, which is, you know, it was what it was. It wasn't really like- What was that supposed to do? It was like multiplayer, early multiplayer, wasn't it? It was pretty much, yeah. it, it looked like it was supposed to be like another type of multi-tap type of situation. I um, had such bad luck with all those link cables with Game Boy and all the, th like all the things that you link together. I was just like, man, let's just play a multiplayer game. Like I- That I was it. Like, <laughs> but you would do that though, because like, let's say you had Mortal Kombat and he had all the characters unlocked and you don't. He could bring his PlayStation over. We can link and connect it. And I have all access to all the characters too. But that's if it worked. Well, this was actually a, a, a solve for the split screen. So that was a, the point. It was a, the yeah. original getting off of each other's screen to play multiplayer, like Twisted Metal, without seeing where the other person was. So yeah. pretty cool. 
Well, but I, once again, I guess we're just going to have to give Nintendo its credit because they figured out something even cooler to do with a link cable. Does anyone remember where you can link your Game Boys and you would trade Pokemon back and forth? Yep. But if you un unhooked the the link cable at a certain point, you, the Pokemon that was getting sent over to you would evolve into a different one? Yep. Oh, I think I vaguely remember that. Wasn't there yeah, a glitch? I got to remember which one that was. It was. No, it, it, was, was um, it was It was. two Pokemon go on top of my head. It's um the... Uh, Golem, uh, Jesus, uh, Geodude. Grabbler. Ge Geod yeah, Grabbler. Grabbler was the finish. No, yeah. it was actually, it was the only way that they did evolve was yeah. to transfer them. Yeah. I don't H think it was Hunter, a Hunter and Gengar was the other one. You couldn't get a Gengar. Yeah, yeah, there were a few you could get, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gengar, uh, Gengar you uh, can't get Eevee. without doing that. Eevee, there was a particular Eevee you couldn't get without trading it. I forgot which one it was. There was a couple of them like that. Yeah. Hey, that, in, re in retrospect, that was genius marketing. Dope. Yeah. Dope. So dope. Why, no. why would you oh, not oh. want to get that? Another glitch too, if you unplugged it while um you're transferring Pokeballs, you can purchase unlimited ones. So like if you're in your store when you're unplugging because it's still waiting to transfer, you could just keep purchasing and purchase. Or it's like something where you can go to the number and like go and turn right, it infinite. Like That's what it was. Yeah. You can yeah, buy yeah, infinite. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. God, the, the, them boys at Nintendo don't play, man. They got it figured out. They got their own little word. Like, oh, don't worry. We're going to have Easter eggs and little Bro, secrets. As if Pokemon wasn't already making enough money. Selling the, <laughs> same, selling the same pack to us over and over again with, like, the chance of one or two different cards. Oh, uh, genius. Genius. We haven't seen anything like that since, Loki. Here's what I got to ask, though. Here's I got here I got to ask. Even though Pokemon was more popular, don't do it. Which one had the better show? Pokemon if you say Digimon, Digimon. No, Pokemon was this overall. discussion. We know the truth. The overall show? A perfect package. Digimon no, 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 He just said the show. Just, show. The, show. just, just the, the show. And Ash is garbage. So I would say Digimon. I'm, yeah, because I'm already saying by popularity, there is no debate. I don't like, I didn't like that Digimon talked fully. I loved it. And we talked about their evolution. Them going from animals to humans was a weird Super thing. Weird. That's just two of them. That's not all of them. Super That's weird. fine. But but they're, they're, the, they're one of the core characters. But the story, though. Well, you know you know that there was some, some weird kids evolving their Digimon and then having sex with the human version of them. Man, listen. Listen. That's true. Right. We, we, listen, we know. We know, Pat. Digimon Season 3, Renamon, they, they, they know what they were doing. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. There. That new movie they just dropped, too? You want, what, up, you want me to pull Digimon up season three? What can you want me to pull up Renamon? Pull up Renamon. Oh, yeah, it was hard, Renamon. bro. Yeah, you're gonna see Renamon real quick and you're gonna tell me yo, what was I, the plan. That's all uh, I got. This dude, Renamon. Hey, he hey, in the video. Oh, game, oh wow, there was a, there was a fighting game. He was cold in the fighting game. It's hard. I like him. It's, per, it, it's a female. I'll leave it at that. And uh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's Go back to the thing. That's a female. That's They're a doing a lot. Hero. They're doing a lot. This you know, was definitely kicking do down the, the door for the furry uh, enthusiasts. They out there. know what they were doing. Oh, man, man. Hey, I'm telling y'all, man, Digimon was a way better show. No, it was not. Uh, name, me, name me an episode of y'all favorite Pokemon episode. The Butterfree. Uh, free episode, the Pikachu episode, the Dragonite episode. Oh, what? The, the James episode where you find out he's actually a rich kid. That one was a fly episode. There you go. This episode where Pikachu didn't evolve into Raichu because he didn't want to. He didn't want when to. they met the, the Squirtle squad, uh, uh, visiting the Thunder, the, the Thunder Badge. Brock's, um, um, Brock's badge fight was a dope episode. Uh, Charizard not wanting to listen to Ash on some dickhead shit. That this one. shit sounds so boring. No, okay, like, I'll, I'll give so you one boring. I'll give I didn't explain anything. I was just listing them. No, I'm just saying, but like the ones y'all describing sound like sound boring as hell. Like Digimon, like the, the world was in danger. These kids was in consistent danger. Giovanni was trying to take over the world low key on some Scooby Doo shit behind the scenes. Come on, he had I a little danger making it a better show because it was it had intensity. It was epic. All right, name Lion the best shows of Digimon. Name all the classics that we all remember. When we met Lionmon, when uh, old boy the vampire finally broke and got into the city, and everybody actually saw him. I know y'all be talking shit about when they turned into uh, transforming into humans, but transforming into Angelmon. 
one was fucking fly as fuck if you just invested into the show. The other one when we found the next stage of evolution. So when Agumon turned into Meta Agumon and can throw that big ass terraform ball. And then that's just them. Then they switched over and had a whole new set of kids come in and the complete digital world world change. So then you had Vmon and his uh evolutionary trait. Then old boy that had Vmon was fucking old boy's sister that had Agumon. Like, bro, like, I'm telling you, this show was lit. I, you made I, that I, up. I'm going to go like, ahead to just stick with my Pokemon, bro. I'll Intro alone, this. characters alone, they had us glued. They had us locked in. Those Nintendo controlled kids at that and point. It was nothing party, we wouldn't Digimon. do for a Pokemon card. Nothing. Nothing we wouldn't do. See, but I'm talking about the show. I've never even seen a Digimon card. We're not talking about that. Were they and digital? Niggas was texting each other Digimon. <laughs> they were T9 texting Pat. They no, T9 texting. Y'all just were talking bro, about transferring Pokemon. What are you saying? Bro, bro but that was an element of the game. Digimon was about emailing each other different monsters. <laughs> hey, Pat, unfortunately, you're not wrong. They were pretty much Tamaguchis, but let's just get back to really the word. They were. T- they yes, were. Hey, they were. I got nothing negative to say about Tamagotchis. Yeah, man, bro. I'm just saying, man, we need to have a Digimon watch party. <laughs> uh, bro, I'm not making it through two episodes. Sorry, I tell you that right yes, now. Yes, you I would be down. I would be literally, I would, I would bet, I will bring a Pokemon episode for a Digimon episode. We could watch both and let the fans decide. Facts. We could, I'm we with could that. do that. Oh, we could do that. <laughs> oh, let's do hey, that. Hey, Pat, episode I, trade-off. Hey, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. For Digimon? Well, Will you help me pick the Digimon episode? Right, if I pick, if we, if you and you let me and Will pick a Digimon episode, y'all gonna lose this battle. It's okay, a round. Yeah, let's, let's pick. A, let's, let's do it, Pat. I got you. I'm with you. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So easy. Uh, this will be coming out what uh, Wednesday. So next. So next Saturday. So next. The, uh, the, this Saturday coming up. Watch okay. party. Okay. Yeah. Digimon versus Pokemon. Easy. Y'all gonna decide which episode we pick it the best episode. Oh y'all, y'all should not have done that. Oh, um, are you? But all right, Pokemon all right. versus Digimon. Y'all, oh, show, show, I, again, again, what I just said, popularity wise, y'all got it. Not like Digimon. Why do you think? Why do you think it was like that though? Because it is a better show. No. I we no, we don't no, even no. have to pick the episode where he has to pick between the three Pokemon and gets Pikachu would probably beat most Digimon episodes. Okay, just that first one. of all, okay. Okay, me, I, I will say this: the reason why Pokemon was so much better, that video game was unbelievable for us at that time. That's the reason why it was so popular. That in the cards, yep. I will let you know right now. That TV show, y'all sleeping on that first season, and y'all when will I, learn. Y'all when learn. Liamon sacrificed himself. Oh, bro. first of all, who? There's not even memorable characters. <laughs> Le- what was? What did you say, Lisa Mon? Said <laughs> Liamon. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll Who sacrificed himself? I wasn't. Le- I wasn't Leomon. That Pokemon. It was Leomon. Yo, no, it was Leomon. Oh. Hey, Somebody, what was the Digimon theme song? Get pulled in the Pokemon, bro. I'm telling you. Digimon, digital Digimon. monsters, digital, digital god of champions. Change into digital champion. It was tight. Save the digital world. It was not as tight as Pokemon. I will say that. It was not stopping. Not stopping that theme song at all. So <laughs> it did have a lip sync theme song now that I hear it. But. Yeah, so uh, let's do one more accessory before we move on. Um, what do we have final? We, we've been through the power gov, of course, if you're watching Whew. a video version. So, um, oh, this was just for Japan, yeah, yeah, sad of you. We, I don't know nothing about sad of you. Yeah, it, cool. Apparently, it picked up, it was a uh, satellite TV stations. It turned your thing into a satellite TV. Uh, Which thing. one is this one for? Wait, go this back. For the, this is this for the the Super Famicom is actually the Super Nintendo. If, in case you guys don't know, it's called the Famicom in Japan, but it's literally yep. the same thing. Yeah, the Famicom. Uh, Super. Famicom. So it's called. It's supposed to be Family Computer. Super yep. Family Computer is with the name of it. That's mm-hmm. what, that's what the Famicom really is. That's what they marketed it as. So yep. this is literally a Super Nintendo. This is the same thing that we know as Super Nintendo. These were they were actually the first ones to get like adults to play video games. Like they right. would have commercials of like like grandpas playing Mario and stuff and just Yeah. So the way it's a very complicated system, um uh, satellite view, your super and family come would pick up satellite TV stations that we designated that would then be a designated hour. The super family hour. 
Oh, Yo, these dude. niggas had a cable box, bro. Yeah. Nintendo was like, "Yo, we are gonna take out Dish Network too." What? I love it. They were oh, Nintendo no. was some big bold people, bro. Oh, they was like, "Oh what no, we Sega too, though." Like, let's like, I, I, I think, I think the more we about to get into these game accessories, I think the more we see that like Nintendo and Sega is like Xbox and PlayStation today, but you just see who <laughs> ruled out who. Because okay. both of them did innovative stuff. We just see like what happened, what wound up happening with Sega and what happened. Damn, with Sega was the early Xbox. <laughs> yeah. And so I, and I got and I'm not and I'm not gonna lie about it. You know, <laughs> shame in it, but it, it happens. And so start seeing Xbox, which is we're gonna see it history repeat itself. So right, well, um this is a good last one. Master system girl. What is this? I did not have this. It has one, two, three buttons and a D-pad. I see Sonic the Hedgehog. And nothing else I recognize. Honestly. This is Sega? Here's a limitless test to see if you have this. Yeah, oh, is this the game gear for girls? There's no screen. No, I think it opens. Or is it a controller? Here, let's read it. It says, uh, have you heard of the Master System? Yes, you have? Okay, well, th then this offshoot is entirely redundant. All that this is, is a regular Sega Master System, but colored pink with a feminine avatar slapped onto the packaging. So I guess there was already something called the Sega Master System. And it says it was produced by Tectoin in Brazil as a means to increase the amount of female gamers on the system. Uh, but not only is the system needless, it's pretty much enforcing gender stereotypes. Okay, there's some... There's some, uh, <laughs> there's some opinions in here. But... <laughs> but um, <laughs> I guess I don't know what the master system is to begin with, but I guess this is there was, literally the master system girl. I'm pretty sure the master system was before, I'm pretty sure it was before the Genesis. Yeah. yeah. I think it was kind of trying to go head up with the NES. Yeah, it was uh, It was a little bit bigger uh, before they came out with the Genesis. So Sega okay. had another one like in the 80s. Yep. Yeah. It's the master system. That's yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. System. And oh, then they oh, came, then they switched to Genesis. So no, they because they had a different colorway. So even Sega was switching colorways around. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. It's yeah. But I just but, don't get it though. It has yeah. no screen, or is it a controller? No, no, no. Oh, it's it a looks system. like the it looks like the cartridge goes into the back of it. Yeah, but the thing is, you plug it into the television for it to play. But the only problem with that is, it only comes oh. with three games. They also have Sega cards, uh, which yeah. were credit card sized formats so you just slipped it right in like a credit card it says oh, it included uh, a light gun no, and like this. it included a light gun and 3d glasses they were out here with the tech Sega I'm telling fine, you, like we go we got to keep diving into like the sega nintendo i love this list <laughs> innovation man so uh but gaming history yeah so i think that was a great way for us to go into uh learning about these gaming accessories and we'll continue to go ahead and do that uh pat if you would La, 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 level two. We have uh, reached level two of the podcast, and this is going to be fun. This is the, in our opinion, the best video game items. Um, I guess we could actually say weapons, right? Best video yeah. game weapons. Yeah. Um, so we kind of just explored the hardware uh, outside of gaming. Now we're going to explain, uh, explore the weapons within gaming. Uh, I. This isn't really the best uh, to me. It's just kind of like one of my favorite, one of my all-time favorites in, in terms of uh, what I chose. Just because I feel like we could probably do this segment a couple of times, you know, because okay. there's so many, so many weapons. Um, but uh, yeah, who wants to go first? Best video game weapon. I'll go first. Best video game weapon um, that I'm going to bring to the table today is from a newer franchise that premiered on the Xbox 360. Uh, the creator of this video game went back and forth, back and forth with the uh, studio about even having this weapon a part of the game. They did not want it in there. They were like, this is over the top. This is too much. No, we don't want it. We don't want it. He fought it till the very end, right before, according to him, before the last test footage could be put through uh, in order for him to premiere the game at the, um, at the announcement of it. The game I'm talking about, is Gears of War. And the weapon I'm talking about is the Lancer with the chainsaw bayonet at the bottom of it. Oh, that's cool. When the first trailer this to come out? Gears of War, I'm sorry? He didn't want this to come out? No, the creator of the of the series did. 
Microsoft did not want that in the game. They thought it was over the top. They said this is too much. This is too violent. It's one thing to have every, you, it's one thing to have humans shooting at monsters. It's another thing to have a chainsaw attached to the gun. That right? is ridiculous. <laughs> right? Chainsaw gun. <laughs> so uh, his original idea actually was a drill. It was supposed to be a drill on the other end of the gun to be like a double melee type of thing. Or and then it went to the enemies in the game. The locusts actually supposed to have the drill. They didn't get that. So this was their compromise. Fine. You want the chainsaw? Here, take the chainsaw and go premiere your footage at the upcoming event that was uh, going to be premiering Gears of War. And uh, Bill Gates himself walked up to the creator of this game and let him know, I love the chainsaw. I love it. And he wasn't, he didn't originally. Uh... He had no clue about it. You know, he was, Bill Gates went into the thing just like, oh, I want to see Woo! what my, my studio creating. Imagine like, the stunt that is from the creator. He probably looked dead at the other people like, thanks, Bill. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, that had to be such an empowering oh. moment. Ooh. Like, yo, you fought, you fought, you fought it all the way to the end. And for the man, the myth, the legend, the owner of all of this to say, hey, that chainsaw gun is really that's great. great. Nah, that's a great story. Yeah, man. So this is the one I chose, man, because it, it means so much to me, like to know that you have you can have an idea and a million people could tell, you no, but you feel strongly about this thing. Like, yo, this is going to help sell this game. And I'll never forget the first trailer of it. I'm seeing all this stuff going on and all this action packed shooting. And then I see that chainsaw come out and, mm, and, 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 and just lay someone out. It became such a huge draw for the video game. People were jumping online just trying to like literally hit B to melee somebody. Was this a, oh. a basic gun or was this something you had to kind of go out of your way and beat a bunch basic. of levels to get? This was basic. your standard weapon as Marcus Phoenix. This is the okay. gun you start with. That's you got you that in the with. beginning of the game. Here you yep. go, boss. Let's go. All right. So then the look is uh, the look is on point, but uh, how does it? Sh how's the weapon itself? Is it shooting it's anything? Good. Is it? Oh, it's great. It's, it's great. It's great. It's an assault rifle. So you're laying down the fire. You're laying down the fire, and let's just say a locust comes running full speed at you. You can stop firing. Hold B. Boom. Rev the chainsaw. Carve right through him, man. Yep. And then of course they, they made it even better that you can actually just sit there and press the right trigger while while you're revving it up with the B. So you hold B, press right trigger, and you can just start revving it up just to this even this is more of an impact sound for for you to use it, man. It was it's a great weapon. It it yeah. literally defined what Gears cool. of War is. Yeah, you know? bro. I'm glad it they didn't use a drill. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the drill would not have worked. The Take drill a would Phillip, not have a Phillips on the back. It's <laughs> 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 <That's> ridiculous. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Well, that was a. Uh, I mean, that is a uh, a classic Xbox uh, weapon. So I guess yeah. it's only right to jump into a classic PlayStation weapon. Will, okay. what you got? Yeah, just one. You said one sec. Okay, I'll go. go ahead. <laughs> How about me then? Um, mine is not the uh, not as aggressive or as violent as this one. It's actually a little cute weapon. Uh, mine comes from the world of Super Mario, specifically um, Mario Kart. I picked the blue Koopa shell, ah. and this is literally one of my favorite uh, weapons in gaming history. I wanted to tattoo this on me before I you know, came to the conclusion that black people don't look good with colored tattoos. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just not in the cards. But... I love this weapon because of what it represents. Not only could you uh, come back from a you know a, a, a losing situation and win because of this, it, it it's also the deliverer of some of the biggest heartbreaks in my gaming life, and I think across the board. If you everybody's had that moment where they were right ahead of everybody, first place, literally just you know how like. Once you win, you're just like you, you go right into pose, you go right into stunt mode. You're almost like you're almost like the, your button is your finger is off of uh, still on the A button and it's about to come off. You're about yeah. to gloat. You're about yeah. to go, go on everybody. And then, boom, you blow up. And it seems like the entire team, even people that weren't on the, the, the starting line are passing you. People that ain't in the game, you got you got Kratos passing you on a motorcycle, like fam. And you all, it's just, oh, you want, you want to cuss everybody out. Yeah. That is the, that is how you lose friends. And I just think what it represents, like this, 
guns after first place. You know what I mean? It's almost like the ambitious weapon. <laughs> it's yeah. like, this is, this is the only thing you got to worry about if you on top. And it's by far the coolest of the three, even yeah. though, you know, shout out to the red shell. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Dude, it's not hit, you, hit you with the, if you're not first or last this is exactly what this thing is this is the epitome if you're not first you're about to be last the ricky bobby first, bobby. it's a ricky last. bobby this is the i've ricky uh, bobby. i've <laughs> dedicated time in my life because i i really do enjoy mario kart and i've dedicated some time in my life to try to figure out how to make sure the blue shell doesn't hit me mm -hmm. there are people out there where if you could get it frame perfect pat frame perfect if you jump at the exact moment it's supposed 64? to be impacting, you continue going like it didn't even hit you. 64? Uh, no, I'm talking um, no, the switch. Most part of the switch. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Because I know yeah. that you, um, if you have the speaker, you can also break it. Yeah. There's that yeah. as well. Break it with the speaker, but that's very specific. But I've done it with the shit. I've done it with the jump once, and it was on a ramp. So uh, when I did it, so it was like when you do it and you do the trick and it sped off, it didn't hit me. It missed as it was going down. What animal is this from? Because we see in the, the Super Mario, we see the, the green and the red turtles walking around, but I don't think I remember seeing a, a big blue, a blue spike. Show so, one. so rumor is, you know the ones when you go into Bowser's castle, the bone ones? That's supposed to be them. Because remember, they have spikes on them. They're just gray. Supposedly no, that, yeah, they do. In the original one, they have spikes. The uh the skeleton um turtles, yeah. Don't they have spikes on their shells? Oh, I thought they were just dead regular Koopas. Dead. What what are they called? Dead Koopas? Uh, bone something. Bone. Chopas. Dry bone. Dry bones. Dry, dry bones. bones. Yeah, dry bones don't have um spikes. Yeah, they don't have spikes. I think it's just. I think they were just regular turtles that died. Or maybe. What was that? Well, you said the original. You said the original. So let me let me see the original ones. Bone Koopas. Because, yeah, I never really thought about it. I don't think I've ever seen, um, I've never seen the blue, the blue shell animals walking around. Same. What creature is the blue shell in Mario from? We solving mysteries over here at the arcade tokens. We don't leave anything out there without you guys actually getting the information. All right, well, there are these guys. Remember these guys? Oh, they're, wow. They're kind of, they're kind of cl but they don't have the little turtle yeah. uh, under things. Underbelly, yeah. Or yeah, the. Underbelly. What if these are extinct? That's what I was going to think, man. Maybe yeah. these are extinct animals. A rare what if missile? Bowser killed all of these off and used it for this? Hmm. Quite possibly. I was trying to remember, man, because I there's a lot of secret levels in Super Mario World, but I've seen blue blue shells before. You're, there is a blue. Is it Mario World? There's, there's. Okay, so in Super Mario World, there is a Koopa that walks around with a blue shell. If you swallow that that Koopa, you're able to fly. Right, right there is. Okay, but that, that, but I, it doesn't spikes, have spikes. It doesn't the have spikes, spikes. Imply that it was as big or the same thing as Bowser. And Bowser, you're right. That's the only thing I can connect it to. Is there? Ooh, is a, this is some some lore. All right, mm -hmm. well, uh, yeah. Throw that in the throw that in the comments because I'm. Uh, this out. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I really want to know because I'm I'm looking at a whole bunch of things and it's almost like no one is explaining it. Yeah. So the, the only one I've ever seen with a blue shell is, is that Koopa. Now you know another thing too that's a lure that what could what it could be is that that is the creature and it's inside. It's so still inside. It, yeah, so what it could be that's what's helping seek the shell is that it's already in there and it's seeking and it's explosive. That's another good question. Like all these shells, are the turtles still in or were they like gutted out? <laughs> right. Damn, I took that into consideration. It's super weird. Like when you're throwing these shells, like the red shells and the green shells and all that stuff, because in the game you jump on them and they sort of retract and then you throw them with them inside. But I, yeah. I mean, we, we can go back and go back to the history of Mario. <laughs> you know what this is? Go this ahead. is this is uh CSI this is gaming. this is Bowser's blue balls. That's what this is. <laughs> Jeez. Just think about it. Only Bowser has spikes. So Pretty when he be, he be busting nuts, they come out like this. Oh, when Peach man. don't be breaking them off, he just pop, ah, blue All right, well, we're going to use that horrible visual to transition into Will's uh, Will's favorite or best video Farrell. game weapon. 
I'm sorry. That's just the Sega in me. Don't mind me. But uh, it was funny that you mentioned Kratos on a motorcycle passing you up after this blue shell hits because that is my weapon of choice coming out of the God of War franchise, the Blades of Chaos. I think those are some of the uh, hardest weapons. First of all, different versions of them can upgrade, change up everything. Um, to the point that wood handles, that's cool. Yeah, so and that was the first one. So those those were the first ones he got, which was a lot more painful because those were the ones that were like wrapped around them in the chains. I think right. as like the story progressed, I think they uh, went from them being chained and bound to him to them appearing when he needs them. If, if memory serves me correct. But man, just all the combinations you can do, like you can literally avoid the close fade with these at any time. Yeah. And even if you was a close fade, it's like, I still got the swords. Like I can throw these and I can whoop ass with these right in front of me. The size of the monsters he was taking down with these two little swords is ridiculous. Yeah. Bro, like ripping out minotaurs, like jaw lines and then stabbing them in their craniums. And then just walking off, like the way he would multiply stab gods with these. These were like Greek shivs before shivs was invented. That's the thing. There's definitely some mass to these blades, and Kratos is swinging them like, <laughs> like daggers, bro. It's ridiculous. Right. It's so OP for Kratos to have blades like this, man. But we've all seen the destruction that he's been able to do over the years. Every god that's gotten his way, he's dropped them because of these. Fucking blades. He had more. He's had more weaponry, but I got to agree with Will for picking these ones, man. These are the iconic Kratos blades from the original God of War uh, series. He's gone on to what now? Use the axe mostly in the new God of War? I think he gets these back. back. He gets those at at some point. Does he? Yeah, Yeah, he he goes back to his house and he's like, it's kind of like that, you know, that retired military guy coming out of retirement. He's like, gotta dust it off. Yeah, it's super dope, though. It's a great moment. Time again. Exactly. Yeah. I was was always super impressed with like Kratos' like energy, like his stamina. He would kill a whole boss and then be like, all right, what's next? He's like the epitome of the dude who's like at 3 a.m., like, what's the next move? Yeah, like, like go home. Go home. That's the next room. Oh, <laughs> like, bro, oh God damn! Before I go to bed, what? I'm like, bro, I'm a, I'm gonna turn the game off so you can rest after what we just did. <laughs> right? This is ridiculous. And he just answered back, no. Put in two and let's continue. Like you know what happens in two to you, right? I'm ready. He's. So, but now they're also the question that I had uh, with these though. Are these more powerful than a lightsaber? Mind you, these are wielded from magic. And after you've seen everything Kratos do with these, can a lightsaber... I don't know a lot of lightsaber science because it seems like it can burn through everything. So so I saw one thing. It's generated from a crystal. So there's a crystal that's inside the saber that powers it up to Mm -hmm. make this saber. And then, so like the technology inside the saber is what concentrates it into making the beam. So basically just think like it, it, like it's a, it's a laser and stuff. So just like how pop can a laser be defeated? Yeah, I feel like it's, it's one of two things. If you're just doing it straight from science and there's no, it's no fighting involved and you're just like testing a lightsaber through uh, against it, each other, that's one thing. But if it's a fight, you ain't you ain't taking down Kratos with the lightsaber. I've seen regular Jedi's and regular people; they'll throw the lightsaber and it breaks. Like <laughs> you you ain't you ain't gonna even get close enough to do anything because Kratos can at, at the very least break the handle, which would break the turn the lightsaber off. You ain't True. turning off these uh these Deep blades. blades. No, no, for no, the no, fire no. that comes out of them. There's fire. Imagine getting hit with one of these things from Kratos. And you're on fire. That's a yeah. that's a lot. <laughs> well, you don't you don't have to think about it because you did. So like <laughs> you don't have to think about scorched. it at all. I don't know. He is a brutal man with those he, blades, bro. He goes slow on and purpose. what's the actual name of these ones, Will? What's the actual term for these the, two? Uh Blades of Chaos. So, but they're different per- versions of this. So these are the first ones that he got. The ones that Ares bound to him when uh after he uh found out he killed his people. And they only got right. better after that. The, the yeah. were, these were highly upgraded. Oh yeah, every game. <laughs> yeah, like he got some from like uh, like he pulled some out of Hades. I think he also had like some Olympus versions ones. Athena. Whoa, were they physically some. different, or were these being upgraded? 
Um, they were different because I think he lost these at one point because I think in three, uh, uh, Athena had to give him new ones. So they were like kind of like black with an orange glow to it and stuff. That's the one I remember more than anything. I yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she got, yeah. So he's he, he's ran through a couple different ones. Okay. Uh, also, also another little fun fact about Kratos. My man has been featured in multiple fighting games over the years that we just, he, he was in Mortal Kombat 9. He yep. also was in Soul Calibur on the PSP. Yep. Oh, so, really? Crazy. Yes. yes. So they need to again, put him in more stuff. So Soul Calibur, honestly, I feel like has the best uh, exclusive game, video game characters. The more and more this goes, more and more I play more Soul Calibur, the more and more I'm starting to understand. Like Mortal Kombat is doing their thing, don't get me wrong, but Soul Calibur got some hits. But, but that's what kept Soul Calibur alive, though, yeah. was one, yeah. their characters are just as interesting as Mortal Kombat, but they don't really have to push that. And okay. so it's like, if you get into the lore, it's dope. But even then, when you bring in these new characters, like they even had a storyline where like Nightmare goes up against Darth Vader. And it was yeah. just like, and then, but when you read it, it's like, oh, this shit is dope. Yep. Hey, this, this should be made into a dope anime or something like that. So they just can keep pushing the envelope with adding it and it works. Yeah. I just wanted to just put that out there about Kratos being in Mortal Kombat and in Soul Calibur as well and the PlayStation game, but that doesn't count. They just got to be careful with these crossovers because now that we got like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Mortal Kombat, I don't know if I'd want to see like Kratos and in Injustice. Like some of the universes are just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta chill out. Oh. Ooh, Kratos and Injustice now. I don't know about that one. It seems like they're just doing crossovers with who whose licensing they can get as opposed to who would be dope. Yeah, in that series, but yeah, like Rick and Morty gonna be in Mortal Kombat next. Oh, no. oh God! I'd be mm, no, nah, I'd be. Well, I don't know. Rick could fight though. Rick has been. But Rick ain't MK level. I don't want to see Rick Sanchez fight Sub Zero or Raiden or New Five. Uh, no, that'd be hilarious. He would work in Injustice though. He would huh? work in Injustice. Yeah, I think there's, Injustice would be better. There's enough scientists there to make it work too. Like there's enough yeah. guys that they kind of already built off. It might work. He's and then dead. Morty could have the big muscular arm back and stuff like that. It's <laughs> like, oh, geez, Rick. Ah. Good old, good, I mean, there's a lot of multiverses it's in so- Injustice as well, anyway. There's a whole multiverse situation. So it might work. Injustice might work. will work. I would not mind seeing Rick go up against Gorilla Grodd. <laughs> exactly. Fun fight. Fun fight. A lot, a lot of shit talking. Yeah. yeah. I would mind that. Okay. So, uh, but with that man we seem to be creating some pretty crazy rivalries so i think that's only the best thing for us to lead into the final level boss level which is if we were in a video game who would be our greatest rival and why so this is a big one y'all this this is this is not for the faint of heart because the thing you have to think about is too the rival you pick is the video game you're in. So also, too, how are you in that video game? Mm. Ah. Mm. That's something. We're right. switching it up now. Yeah, I mean, but if you think about it, this is your rival. So it's like you got to kind of tread cautiously when we think about these things. I'll go well, first just go because ahead. I don't really see myself in this game, per se. I see us in real life. And him being like my older brother that everybody confuses me with. He could fight. He's just all around better. And uh, this is Eddie from Tekken 3. The amount of comparisons to Eddie that I have just gotten throughout my life is just, it's its a lot. So mm-hmm. I can only see him being in, you know, me just being in his crazy shadow. He, he beat me up every chance he gets. So if I was a Tekken character for some reason, I think I'd be interesting in Tekken mm. to say the least <laughs> definitely would have to have a weapon um because I, I don't beat, know though I I'm don't not know, beating Pat. up Eddie bare, bare knuckle no here, here's the thing here's the thing you gotta think about though Pat like again Heihachi threw his son off a cliff okay that low-key built him into the man that he's in okay so, so I probably have some dark ass backstory in Tekken no no I'm just saying like if you're <laughs> most in likely here, if you're in here training with Eddie eventually like yo you're like if Eddie, if you can't beat Eddie, Eddie whoops other people's asses, which means you could beat them. So it's like, then you become a formidable opponent in Tekken because you're being trained by Eddie. Right, but this nigga has a turtleneck sleeveless crop top. So 
I don't see him kind of playing by any rules, any doing anything the right way. I barefoot. just feel like I just feel and barefoot. I just feel like he would bully me in every way. This would be basically like Gary and Ash, uh, or Gary and Red, really. Uh, but yeah, I feel like he would just put the paws on me every single time, and I would just not be able to get past. I probably have, he'd probably make me shave my dreads at some point if we were in the same universe. Jeez, yeah. like he, is this like all you know dreadlock gang? I mean, yeah, have you look. seen have you seen a nigga that knows Capoeira? Train that it's shit is terrifying. It's 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 ridiculous, bro. And then, I would not want to get that kick come you. from. Yeah, yeah. and they, yeah, like you think getting punched in the jaw is like terrible. Getting kicked in the jaw by feet coming upwards, those little right. donkey <laughs> kicks. No, nope. like oh. yo, that's, that's what I'm saying. It. Getting beat up by Eddie would be different. <laughs> but see, but getting again, too, like way. I said, bro, then you, you would be deadly with the feet as well, though. The feet. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the little, you got the little pineapple right here, so you'd be spinning real good on stuff like you, and you smaller, so you would be actually a lot faster than Eddie. I would like to think that, but Tekken's one of those games that has a couple characters that never got better. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. you yeah. know what I mean? Like, like I feel like Paul has always been meat and potatoes, boring. Uh, <laughs> Nina never really did it for me. Uh, some a lot of characters got better, like Yoshimitsu and uh, Law and stuff like that. Did Yoshimitsu some... get better, or did his outfits just get better? I like how he plays in some games when he's like samurai. Sometimes I just make him a monster, but yeah, there's just some cool, people bro. in Tekken, Kuma. There's just some people that was just you know boring city the entire series. So that's true. I feel like in Tekken or real life, he would be the most hilarious uh, rival for me for sure. Okay. All right, Cleo, would you like to present your yeah. rival and why? Absolutely, man. Um, I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. The name Zero will follow me for the rest of my life. I play Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat, and I think it's only right that my rival be exactly who my brother Kadeem has been playing with his entire life, and that is the better one. Anzo Hitachi, Hasashi, excuse me, Scorpion. All right, so before you get in it, I just got to know, what what's the name of Sub Zero's gang? Uh, Sub Zero's is the Lin Kuei. So you so you in there? You Lin Kuei Cleo now? Yeah. Tight. That's a cool name. Also, Lin Kuei didn't know, Cleo. Didn't know uh, Scorpion's first name was what? Juan? Harold? What Hanzo. 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 Hanzo Hasashi. Okay. Lin Lin Kuei. Uh, he is the uh, he was the leader of the Shirai Ryu clan. All of his people was wiped out. He died. He went to Nether Realm. Uh, I believe it was Shinnok or Quan Chi that ended up bringing him back. He became a fighter for them, and his whole thing was just revenge, revenge, revenge. I'm taking out everybody. If you any way affiliated with the Lin Kuei Clan, I'm taking your head off. So Sub Zero's older brother, the original B Han, I believed, which turns into Noob Cyblock gets wiped out and let's just say that was my that was my head honcho that was my teacher was that was that scorpion that did that scorpion did that so yeah. he killed the original dude with the slick back in the red uh, no that's the second sub zero that's the, that's brother. the brother okay yeah the original uh, uh sub zero got killed so let's just say that was my teacher now i gotta come see the hands now i gotta figure out how to do my cryomancery to go and take out scorpion which is almost impossible because he's already dead that's the thing about Scorpion. He's dead already. So has any uh, Sub-Zero came close to re-killing him, or how does he die? Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen anyone take him out. Yeah, Sub-Zero. Uh, uh, Sub well, t they did it together with some people, like like uh, Liu I Kang and, like, help take him out. Jump him. <laughs> yeah, they jumped him. So it wasn't, like, just no, like, one-on-one -on -one stuff. Like, nah. So they if you want to count the whole Mortal Kombat 11 storyline and stuff, the, the, the new one... Um, obviously there's a lot of time jumping going on. A uh, scorpion meets another scorpion and what? then a scorpion dies. So there's that. Yeah. So there's uh, Oh, is that the scorpion that comes back with like a ponytail and bear man yes. bear face? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm not trying to see no nah man yeah. bun no. Nah. Here, and here's the thing we gotta remember too. This is a very sad ass story because all of them die. So we have to remember too, Cleo, eventually you die in this story. That's fine. Then, I'll take the death. But at least while I'm here, I'm getting my die. honor. Huh, Pat? I said it's Mortal Kombat. Niggas is gonna die. No, no, no. Remember though, everyone died. 
Right. Like when we played 11, everyone was dead. That yeah. was not no surprise to me. It was called, I've seen Scorpion die 100,000 times. Fatalities. <laughs> this is a fighting game. These dudes die at the end of every match. It's but, Mortal Kombat. I, Niggas gonna but, die, but, but think about it. If you in that world, Everybody, like you, like remember you, like think about when you first find out about Mortal Kombat, like when they was on that boat and they was like, "Yo, this is for the fate of the world." Like, there's no way Sonya Blade and Liu Kang and then were really like contemplate, like, like yo, eventually we are gonna go to hell, become demons, and be on a side. No, you you never expect that. you can't predict your next step at all in that world. That's fine, but the stakes are just that much higher in Mortal Kombat. It's life or literal death. Yeah, that's why I don't get how there were so many. Like, I get it. Street Fighter, Ryu got beat up. He'll be back next year. Tekken, Jin broke his leg. He'll be back. But this, it's like at the end of every match, Shang Song is like, finish him. So everybody should have died in the first one. <laughs> how, how do they keep coming back every year? Hey, um, man, listen, listen. We don't care. We're going to keep buying and keep supporting. Shout out to Ed Boone and Warner Brothers and NetherRealm Studios. We'll be here loving the characters. Yeah. And all the guest characters will be here. Oh yeah. Well, um, I can't really say my mind is in the realm of, uh, of any of these. Um, y'all are both in the fighting realm. I get it. You want to be in hell with the with Shang Song and the rest of them, and Pat, you are uh, loose wrists and loose feet in Tekken, where there's a world just at war with Heihachi and them. Me, I'm keeping it simple, man. Like. I, my rival would be Nathan Drake from Uncharted. He's a good Why? guy. He's so nice, though. But he's white, and they've claimed enough. And I just, I just, I just really just want to be like the male Carmen San Diego. Like every time he went through all of this stuff, and I'm just like at the artifact already. Like, ha! Should have got here a little bit quicker, bro. But he's like, he's like BLM white. He's like good white. He grew up and he learned pickpocketing from like. The streets of Brazil. He's he stayed but, in third world countries. I haven't seen him say anything that was you know questionable. I think he's. I think that, he'd be straight. I feel like he'd protest with us. And that's why he makes such a good rival. It's Batman versus Batman. He would make me stronger. Like it's like yo, I got I got to be on my level. If Nathan Drake is on the same artifact as me, it's like it's Nathan Drake, bro. Like you said, like yo, I ain't seen a bad tweet from Nathan Drake ever. You know what I'm saying? He put the black box on the IG. I'm with him. But he just makes me a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Continues that 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 just that rivalry. Cause he's gonna get me sometimes. I'm gonna get him. But you know, we discovering new things. We oh, really? we, tra we traveling, exploring and stuff like that. Like, why that would be excellent. All right, so let's just let's just throw a Nathan Drake scenario out there. Okay? Throw it out there. Nathan Drake in the recent game, uh, and his brother purposely went to prison in a foreign country because mm -hmm. somewhere along the lines there was a i forget what it was i think it was the cross it was the golden cross and they got into a prison fight yeah. he escaped prison scaled the outside of the prison climbed up the grease mountains and and found a hole did the whole thing solved the puzzle you beaten him to that you you gonna be up there like nah Nathan, yeah, you know, you, you should have, yeah, because here's my thing you, not nobody in this Zoom. <laughs> no, 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 first okay. of all, don't, first of all, don't, don't close case before you even let the defendant come up and tell his side of the story. All right, you, you not gonna OJ me in this case, sir. Okay, first and foremost, you didn't say what I had to be doing. How, how do you know I'm just not out surveilling this dude while he was in prison? And when this busts out, I'm just here watching him do all of this stuff. And it's just like, I know exactly where he's about to go. And then here's me, just still as heavy says I want to be, going down the steps. Got my little, got my little joint, just walking to. Oh, you're you're high too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I figure it out because I'm smart. I'm smart. I've used all of this stuff. I'm letting him do the work. And then I'm the one that's reaping the benefits on some of these. And then sometimes I'll be trying to figure stuff out. Like, I'm just like, let's say we in the cave and I got to read these artifacts and stuff like that. I'm high. So I'm reading the wrong thing. I haven't moved this puzzle here, this shape here, but he had already done it. And then he's sitting there like, and I'm like, dang, you got me. You got me. 
man. I see you, Nathan Drake. You got the you got the golden rhinoceros before I did. I see what you're doing there, buddy. From how you're describing it, it seems like he's beating you in all of these. <laughs> it sounds and like you're, you're just going to take advantage of the situation and steal it from him. You're going to let him do all the work. Yeah. In some of these, yeah. And in some situations, I'll be doing it, and he might beat me, and he might not. That's the budding rivalry right there. You never know who's going to win. Unlike y'all two, who is just, uh, like, Pat is just clearly in an abusive relationship that he should just leave. And then you then just got thrown into gang life, <laughs> just fighting for a cause you ain't got no, no beef with. Scorpion ain't do shit to you. You ain't doing no parkour and you ain't scaling shit. It doesn't matter. It, was. it, it, doesn't, it was. doesn't matter if he does the work if the work is getting to the artifact. Back. All I got to do transmission. All I got to do is be there and be at the right opportunity at the right time. That's it. Nathan Drake has probably the hardest job of everybody we talked about, and Scorpion has to kill all of the Lin Kuei, <laughs> but he don't got to climb no nothing. <laughs> Nathan Drake is crazy. I, yeah, I've, again, I've done some ridiculous things with Nathan, with Nathan Drake. He's taken out armies. He's climbed every single thing on earth. He's gotten out of ridiculous situations with just this much leeway for error. Facts. This is, a, rough, this is a tough rivalry. I mean, but it's, it's way better than being in the Lin Kuei frozen, mind you, and then let, let's just really face it. Not sure how you're getting any with the, with the uh, you know frozen body, but you you'll figure that out. You got to give them all. Yeah, give them all. Sub Zero's body just frozen the whole time. I, again, I know I don't know how you make children, so you know, walk me through that. Shoot icicles. <laughs> 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 and you talking about me with the blue shells though? Girls, girls covered in snow, God. like Sub Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Time to oh, make snow. Oh God! It's time for a snowfall. <laughs> Brazzers. <laughs> Finish no. her. And, and like y'all said, <laughs> Finish if on we her. see this on Brazzers, we know where it came from. <laughs> Oh, you got to say that next time you have sex. Finish on her. Whoopee. <laughs> 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 stop, you know, stop. 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 Wow. Oh, my God. She get mad. Why'd you do that? <laughs> she knows him by his first name. Sub. <laughs> <laughs> you always play it, Sub. <laughs> So that's how you want to be, sub. Okay. Stop ruining my character, guys. Stop hey, ruining man, my I'm character. Just, hey, but look, but even too, like Eddie walking around barefoot all day, getting just... hey, my rival got a, a, a crop top on. So <laughs> you being kicked in the face on a day basis. Down bad. Jump kicked. Oh uh, yeah. I've never I my goal is to never fight somebody who's good at cop capoeira. Nope. That's that's something you can't come back from. And all I gotta worry about is climbing buildings solving puzzles and beating a white man to a treasure i'll yeah, take that real in. life problems though <laughs> those i can handle i couldn't handle getting kicked in the face and fate facing uh he was fighting uh, huh yeah. nathan drake was getting into prison fights he was having full shootouts every Shoot out, day talk about it pat jumping here's, out of planes before they the blew up he had the most stress out of everybody here <laughs> here's, here, here's the thing though I, I i can fight so that's covered Jumping out of plane wouldn't have to do that because I can't meet the weight class. So taking a boat, there's different options for me. That's the thing. The one I don't know if you can beat up Nathan Drake though. He has hand hands. I don't think I can whoop Nathan. I but see, we wouldn't have to fight unless he's trying to take the artifact from me. Then I'm gonna just shoot him in his uh in his shin. Because again, I, I don't think I can take Nathan Drake either. But a shoot to the shin that gives me enough time to get out of here. Once again, I'm not trying to compete with him physically. It's, it's this right here. It is a video game. I mean, I can't fight Eddie. <laughs> but you may one day fight it. At least I, I, I've given y'all enough hope for y'all to be able to whoop butt and everything like that. So, um, yeah. But I think, uh, but I, I will say though, I think we all chose dope rivals that would make us stronger within whatever video game realm that we in. We would definitely be survivors if our rivalry ended. Yeah. So. This is a good, this is a cool little game uh, to be in the world of anyways. I would hate to be in the world of Mortal Kombat or Tekken, really. 
Yeah. A lot, of good, lot going on out there. But uh, yeah, because I, I can always go home. That's the. <laughs> Y'all, y'all are in it. Like you're in the Lin Quay. You were like, no, you can't quit. You gotta keep going. No, what you mean? I just took out the I door freezes the- on the way. <laughs> he is not dead. And you just killed him until he come back. He's gonna still come for you, bro. Damn it. That man is on Lin your Quay head for that, eternity. It? Damn it. Lin Quay is kind of hard though. That's a hard name. <laughs> yeah. Lin Quay Cleo. It's so crazy how how on brand Lin Kuei is like that that term and that name with Mortal Kombat. I think it was Mortal Kombat 10 when it launched. You had the ability to choose a clan to be with, and it was the Lin Kuei, the Shirai Ryu, the White Lotus, something else. Okay. Literally everybody, everybody chose Lin Kuei. That when it came time for the update for the like the new patch for the system, they made everyone choose again because no one really chose the other one. Wow, what what, what was this? What game was this? It was Mortal Kombat 10, I believe. Mm-hmm. And you like choose, a oh, your custom character chose a a, 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 a clan. No, your you're, like your screen name, like your actual PSN. Like, what mm-hmm. clan are you with? Like, they were they wanted to make it so where like when you were fighting online, you were fighting for your clan's like wow, this is gonna sound crazy. Clan supremacy <laughs> uh, online. Hey, yeah. gaming needs to update a couple terms now that I think about it. Hell yeah, <laughs> it does it? Even Home me, I was like. Uh, yeah. What clan you with, brother? Like, whoa, what are we talking about right now? <laughs> what are you with? Whoa, 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 whoa. You with, you with them <laughs> Lin Quays? That's what you over there with? I'm going to play some AI. <laughs> I'm just playing AI. <laughs> Computer mode. Hard mode. Oh, man. All right. That was, a legit, uh, that was a legit boss level. Yes, it was, man. I think that's a great way for uh, this episode of the podcast to come to a close. I think these were great levels for this episode. We did the best game and accessories. Well, not the best game and accessories, the most random. And I think we'll continue. Actually, quite a few. I think all three levels can be continued. Okay. Accessories, weapons, and rivals. Real quick, rivals get into a three-way fight. Who's winning? Oh, not Nathan Drake. Not Nathan Drake. Scorpion. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Scorpion. Scorpion is killing like, everybody. Hands, okay, I just everybody. wanted to, I just wanted to hear it. We all know. Like, hilarious. Just get <laughs> over here. Be like, he killed them both, right? Two for one. That's I know, it. right? Low key, the, the, the get over here is a very under talked about like or, or underestimated move because once you pull him over, it's like, oh, he's, he's dead. I don't need to even do the uppercut. The right. thing about this, it, they changed it. In the newest uh, Mortal Kombat, his get over here isn't even what we remember as far as just dragging you over. He has to, he drags you over, lets you go past him, and then slices you. You have to uh, input a whole other button for him to instead do it like the old school, which is just pull cancel. you over and you stop in front of him. Right. You know? I don't like that, bro. That really I just don't. makes it a throw move, right? As opposed to like a setup. In a sense, yeah. 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 I'm actually happy for that because I know how people are online, so... That setup would probably lead to like 20 hits, 20 more hits that you don't deserve. Uh, exactly. So, man. but yeah, man, I, I think this is a, yeah. So, uh, thank y'all so much for checking out the RK Tokens podcast. It was lit, as you can see here with Patrick and the Lighters, man. Thank y'all for always checking out the podcast. You can check it out on all uh, streaming platforms for podcasts. You can check out the video version on the RK Tokens YouTube. Make sure that you follow our Twitches as well, twitch.tv slash Will Farrow slash Patrick Cloud slash uh, Cleo Thomas slash Cathadius as well and slash the RK Tokens. Make sure y'all also check out our watch parties on Saturdays. 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time with um, this upcoming Saturday. We're going to be doing Digimon versus Pokemon. Uh, Uh, And we already know who's coming out on top show wise. uh, So we're going to see y'all there. As always, I've been the Anomaly Will Farrow. Phil Thomas, a.k.a. Mr. Slick Living. I'm Patrick Cloud. And we will catch you next time. Hey.